The thing about Popea is it's the baddies get away with it and uh, it's actually f unique in amongst operas because usually the baddies get their comeuppance um, and you see Nero and Popea as lovers uh, right near the beginning and you know the, the the sort of characters that have been left behind by the wayside disappear at the end and you it is a triumph for evil. So what I love about the music is that it's so visceral and highly intellectual at the same time. Each character has a personality trait that is illustrated in the music. So Popea's music is very sinuous and sexual and Nero is the only character who has bravura kind of phrases. And he's more imposing, but I think Popea's music has the strength. The harmonic progressions are so unexpected and so different to anything else that you'll hear and Monteverdi really hones that skill. Also just the instruments that you're going to hear are not, not standard instruments that you would hear every day or even in opera for the past 200 years. Um, so it's a completely different sound world and a completely different experience than any other opera. He's a very fearless character, um, perhaps borderlining on arrogance, perhaps that's a bit cynical, but he's looking for a constant affinity with the gods, and that incenses a lot of the others um, and, makes, and makes them feel patronised. But he has to deal with it in his stride. I think the opera deals a lot with the theme of manipulation and power struggle. Um, it also looks at the theme of love or lust and I think these are themes that are timeless in many respects so for audiences coming to see it perhaps particularly in this particular political climate uh, there's an awful lot of relevance within the opera for things that happened then and which are still happening today.